Once again, it was Christmas, and the old stone church was alive and ringing with the sounds and excitement of the season. The choir bells were tingling all over with anticipation, for they were to be used with the beautiful Christmas music. Oh, and how they loved to be played! Shh, let's listen. I think rehearsal is beginning. After rehearsal, the bells were put away, and once again the old stone church was quiet. Quiet, except for little bell. Would you please be quiet? The choir director will hear you, and he won't like it if you're ringing when you're not supposed to. What is it with you? Don't you ever stop ringing? We're bigger and better than you. But even we don't ring all the time. Bah humbug! You jingling! You be quiet! <laughs> Only a dumb bell would ring when he's not supposed to. Oh come on, Grumpy! That wasn't very nice. I beg your pardon, beautiful bell. Hey, you little ding dong! Would you kindly put a ceasing to that infernal noise? Bah humbug! I hate being nice. My name is Grumpy Bell. I'm sure that you can tell. I always see what's wrong. I never have a song. My name is Grumpy Bell. My name is Grumpy Bell. My name is Grumpy Bell. I'm sure that you can tell It's very plain to see I'm nasty as 
Grumpy, you're so nasty. Don't you know you never get anywhere that way? I do wonder why she keeps ringing, though. She's really kind of ugly, isn't she? She isn't nicely polished, and her voice is a bit hoarse. Not that everyone can have a voice like mine, but you know what I mean. Aww. Beautiful is always shining her own badge. Oops, I mean, Belle, isn't she? Well, if you want my opinion, she appears to be a bit cracked. That's, of course, if you want my opinion. Bah humbug, we don't want your opinion, beautiful. Did you ever notice, although she rings all the time, she never seems to go out of tune? Uh, don't remind me, Big Bell. I need a tune up every day of my life. I think we should find out why she keeps ringing. There must be a secret as to why she's so happy and always in tune. Just leave it up to me, Bells. I'll find out. Oh, little Bell, you lovely little Bell. Why do you ring all the time? Mm? Yes, why are you so happy? Yeah, and why don't you go out of tune, you little tinker? And little Belle, you look so different from us. Oh, I'm sorry I bothered you, but I didn't know I shouldn't be ringing. I thought that's what a bell is supposed to do. A bell is a wonderful thing. A bell is made to ring as angels are to sing. A bell is made to ring. You ask why I ring all the time. Why a bell is made to chime. A bell is made to ring, to ring. A bell is made to ring. Thank you. 
Ooh. I peeped out from around the lamb's neck. And there, we were in a barn. A barn? I was so disappointed, I thought I'd never ring again. But then, the shepherd put us down, and slowly our eyes got accustomed to the darkness. Then, you'll never guess what I saw. What did you see, little Belle? <laughs>
But who was the baby, Little Bell? I wasn't sure at first, but suddenly I knew. He was the king that God had promised. Someday he would grow up and die for the sins of the world. But then he would live again and become the king forever. It didn't matter any longer what I looked like or how I sounded. I just wanted to ring. So I rang and I rang. I'm beginning to understand, little Belle. That's why you ring all the time. I think now even I have a reason to ring. Me too, little Belle. Me too. Me too. I have a reason to ring. I have a reason to ring.